Hey y'all, it's Laura at Hyper Stamper. I'm so excited to show you my second Easter book of the year, second and last. I only had enough ephemera collected to make two Easter books and it took over a year to collect <laughs> enough to put into two books because everything inside here is not only authentic antique and vintage ephemera, but it's also all Easter themed, every single page. Um, so you will soon see the insides, but look at this. It is made out of the dust jacket of an actual Easter book, which was the first journal that I did this year. And it's just the most beautiful yellows and pinks on here. So I've decorated it with some vintage crochet and some trim, a tie out of yellow ribbon. I've made uh, the removable bangle out of vintage beads here and just some modern ribbon because it was yellows and pinks I wanted. And as you can see here, this was a library book originally and the back is stunning as well. So this book um, was um, published in 1947 and it is just chock full. So let's have a little look here. These are just some vintage earrings that I turned into little clips for my paper clip. And we've got a 1930s image here, some bunnies. And I put some antique paper on the back so that you could make that a journaling card. And over here is another wonderful uh, 1930s uh, children's book page from the My Book House series. And that's the tale of Peter Rabbit. And then these are the original first pages of the Easter book that I've got the dust jacket for there. So lots of great Easter themes there. This ephemera in here is wonderful. This is from a vintage recipe book, Easter dinner. <laughs> and I've actually adhered it so you can tuck something way in there if you like yourself. Over here is just a really pretty sort of a flowery pastel stamp. This is also pastel colors, so I added that for extra journaling space. And I love the hand stamped numbers in the corner. And that is from 1926. This came from a 1930s children's book and look at this wonderful page at Easter time we've got the little girls with their Easter bonnets and Easter lilies here and I left the back alone I didn't want to cover it up because it's all about Easter this is probably my favorite part of this book this came from a vintage Birds of North America book uh, which I just turned into a junk journal uh, last week and, but this plate is spectacular this is plate number two of the American uh, eggs of American birds it's stunning. The colors are perfect for Easter. I love it. It's breaking my heart to give it away, but it does belong in this journal. And we have, uh, this is hilarious. This is from the 70s. So this is vintage and <laughs> the Easter egg cake and how to hatch it. Just, I don't know if I would eat that cake, but it is perfect for a junk journal. That is all authentic <laughs> ephemera. It just, like, we go everywhere from 100 years old to uh, the 70s, so pretty awesome. And speaking of old, this is from the uh, late 1800s, and this is a chapter on Christmas Eve and Easter. So this one's on Easter Day here. I love that. This is the Lent Lily for Easter, and in here I have put the little Easter wish up there and some dried hydrangea leaves. There's a little hidden German spot under the flaps here. These are, again, some vintage earrings that looked a bit like Easter eggs. The first Easter bunny. And this is great. I love this from the 1950s. And it's uh, spring themed. So she's got the tulips on her sweater down here. And this just is so Eastery to me. Look at that. It even looks like little Easter eggs. Isn't that great? Aww. So I love it. It's colorful. It's perfect for an Easter journal. I'm thrilled. I did add some modern ribbon and trim because they were pastel-y. And I just wanted to give it some Easter pastel flavor. And this, speaking of which, this is a uh, vintage doily that somebody hand embroidered and hand crocheted around the edges. It's lovely. And again, those beautiful Easter colors. Speaking of, look at this one. Now this is from 1908 and it's a postcard. It's absolutely fantastic. And this was sent from Brooklyn, New York. Isn't that wonderful? And then this one here is from an antique book. It's a little tear down here, but I still wanted to keep it in one piece rather than trimming it. And it's just got a little Easter bunny uh, article up here. 
and crafts games you can play. And on the flip side, look at this. I got this on the East Coast and the store shop owner said she figured it was from the 50s or 60s. And I agree. It's just wonderful. Never, never was used never was signed anyways uh so that's just hysterical and fun and i am in love with it and that is actually what made me um start collecting easter ephemera was that card because i knew i would never be able to use it unless it was specific to easter so this here is wonderful this is from a Bis the nabisco uh N national nabisco biscuit company the National Bis yes, Nabisco. So it is got every kind of cracker and cookie they sold back in 1953. And I love it because it's March, which was Easter time then. And it's got lots of chocolate things there. So chocolate, Easter, sweets. It just, it belongs in this journal. It really does. Look at this sweet children's book page. The little bunnies looking at the book. Maybe they're reading their own journal. And here I made a clip just out of a hair clip there. And it's another wonderful old children's book page from the 30s, 1937, I think this one was. I made this journaling tag from uh, a magazine article. You could buy a petite point, and there is an Easter scene here. And then just some vintage playing cards that I thought were Easter-y, Easter-ish, Easter-like. <laughs> Whoop, overclipped. Look at, look how cute. Now, hold on. There's more here. I've, I've overclipped. So this is, look at that. How perfect. Easter greetings. We've also got that New Year, Merry Christmas, but I love the Easter lily there and that. And that is also uh, very old. I believe it's from the 20s or early 30s. This is from the 40s. This is from the children's book page. Look how sweet that is. What is Easter without chickies and ducklings? Now this is from a... Um, theater arts book and it is on the Easter play and this is from a 1930s edition of Beatrix Potter's uh, Peter Cottontail and I don't even want to think about how valuable that book was before I tore it out because I didn't realize how valuable it was until I tore things out of it we won't talk about that but it's yours now if you get this journal this is just fun because it's pastel and it's from the 50s nice uh, check there the first Easter bunny and back here is another treasure this is another wonderful postcard it's got the original ribbons that would have been threaded into there Easter lilies chickies Easter egg and a joyful Easter from 1920 and this one was sent from uh, Flint Michigan Easter greetings from Ray thank you Ray that is lovely and then this is a sewing pattern with a stuffed bunny another wonderful children's book page image here chickens and eggs children's book page look at this one how to make baskets easter baskets come on it's perfect and that's also extremely old and this came from um oh gosh this is from the very early uh 1900s but this puzzle here peter rabbit little crossword is that great i'm in love with it Oh boy, I just love it so much. Easter flowers. This is, I just liked these little children here looking at the Easter bunnies. And that beautiful colors from the early 30s with that fuzzy, thick cardstock. And look at this plate from Sunday Reading. I just thought it was very Eastery because it's spring rain and they've got the little lamb there. They're wearing Easter bonnets. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, this journal just makes me very happy. I hope it makes you happy too. Another little... Uh, children's book image here and little girl to me she has an easter basket and a bonnet on and then oh this is the other part of that sewing pattern look you can make carrots bunnies chicks put some needle point here vintage earring and as a belly band just more journaling space here and another look at this little little child looking at the bunny around the tree i love it so much so you can tuck more things into here as well. And then journaling on the back, of course. I just hand stamped some bunnies up here. And more bunnies. Oh, so many beautiful bunnies. This is from the 20s. And this here is from 1890s. Demarest Family Magazine. And it's got two Easter games here. See that? Two Easter games. So lots of fun there. Can you believe it? All of this. Easter, Easter, Easter. I'm... Just thrilled. Now this, oh, another bunny. 
Now this is from 1942, the Teacher's Look and Learn book. And look at this full page spread here. And I love it because it's got the Easter lilies here that the florist is making flowers out of and one over here. Oh, I just thought that was perfect. And oh yes, another wonderful page here. A song for Easter. Isn't that great? Can you believe there's that much Easter ephemera? So I hope you love it as I'm, much as I loved making it. It's on Etsy now, hyperstamper.etsy.com. And uh, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.